Wow, that's delicious. Oh, hello. My name is Nathan Drake. I'll be your anchor for this evening. I'm glad you took away time from your busy lives to tune in to GCN News. Today we will be giving you a rundown of New Jersey's news, including the weather, an upcoming storm, and sports. First, let's take a look at the weather with our very own weatherman, JT Tsunami Schwartz. Two. Man, Ed, I can't believe this. I could be out living life, you know what I'm saying? But no, my agent lands me a job at GCN News. Man, I am going to fire him or my name isn't JT Tsunami. Hey, Tsunami, we're live. Ahem. Hi, I'm JT. We use different weather instruments to track the weather. And I'll give you an outlook on the map. It is 39 degrees outside, as we can see by our expert thermometer. That means it's pretty cold. But I guess I'm not surprised, since it is late November. As, oh, as we can see here by the wind vane, the winds are considered to be westerly winds, because they're coming from the west and going to the east. <coughs> Next, we have the precipitation gauge. It rained about .03 inches last night. But before we go any further, here's a word from our sponsor. One. Have you been wronged by a refund that you did not get? Well then call the Little Jimmy Foundation. Cue the music. As we see from the anemometer, the wind is blowing at 12 miles per hour. It's a little breezy. Also, the hygrometer is reading 74%, which means it might rain. Uh -huh. The air pressure that the barometer is saying is about 29 inches. This means there is indeed a low pressure system heading in, which is another sign that it will rain soon. Now, let's take you to Sully, who's tracking a, get load of this, a hurricane! That's right, mates, I'm tracking a hurricane that's coming up the coast. It doesn't look like it now, but I am. There will be winds reaching 75 miles per hour, or greater. There will be a lot of heavy rain and heavy winds. We advise that you stay indoors and get seven days worth of more passion food and water just in case your house gets blown away or loses power. Now let's see Clark Kent, the cloud watcher, for your cloud diagnosis. How are y'all doing? Right here, we got ourselves a cumulus cloud. They're big and fat. They're found at high altitudes. I guess you could call them a zero cumulus cloud. Ha <laughs> ha! And as we see here, there is a cold front coming in from the west and a warm one coming in from the east. When they collide, there will likely be thunderstorms. Then we have this jet stream flying from the west to the east, making those west to east coast trips easier. Finally, there are the sports with Kwame. Sup, friends? Looks like Michael Vick's season with the Eagles is out of here. We hope you enjoyed our broadcast. Peace off.